What makes a character a true hero? How does someone take that extra step to achieve that status? Naturally, we're set to root for the hero because as a wise woman once said, Everybody loves a hero. People line up for them, cheer them, scream their names, and years later they'll tell how they stood in the rain for hours just to get a glimpse of the one who taught him to hold on a second longer. We want to love and admire the lead character, but just being the protagonist isn't enough to be recognized as a true hero. You're gonna need more to cement the hero as someone altruistic and pure of heart. The way I see it, a true hero is someone who's willing to risk losing something immensely valuable to them without gaining anything from it because they want to do the right thing. There are plenty of heroes in fiction, but I wouldn't call all of them true heroes. James Bond has stopped numerous evil masterminds from nuking other countries, but he's a secret agent. He gets paid to do that, with exceptions. What about Arthur from the classic Ghosts and Goblins? He goes through hell and back, twice, to rescue Princess Preen Preen from the devil. Heroic? Yes. But he's doing this out of a personal attachment. Arthur's in love with Preen Preen, so he's just getting his girlfriend back. When I think true hero, two examples come to mind. Spider-Man 2 and Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Spider-Man 2 describes Peter Parker as a true hero perfectly. The movie starts with him close to losing his job as a pizza delivery boy. One more late delivery and he's gone. He's heading towards his destination at full throttle. Just drop the pizza off and it's all good. But then he spots two kids that are about to be run over by a truck. Without thinking, he instantly saves the kids and tells them to be careful from then on. This will bite him back later since he's late with his delivery and ends up losing his job. He doesn't get rewarded for it. On top of that, his personal life is in shambles, and his super alter ego is demonized by the media. Throughout the film, Peter struggles with his dual lifestyle. He doesn't want to be Spider-Man anymore. He wants a fulfilling life. But his good nature leads him to be selfless and compassionate, even to the point where he saves a little girl in a burning building, without his powers. In the climax, he tries reasoning with Otto Octavius to make his humane side win him over again, and he doesn't fight back when Otto tries strangling him. Peter reaches out to the damaged scientist using the revised wisdom taught to him by Otto and Aunt May. In the end of the story, even if he's never repaid for it, if he can never be with the woman he loves, Peter accepts his destiny as Spider-Man. Yeah, Mary Jane does go to him, but his mind was made up before that scene. Peter in this movie is undoubtedly a true hero and Metroid Prime 2. This game's writing doesn't get enough praise. Samus Aran was already a wildly admired video game hero, but this game provided further layers to her character. It's difficult to do that for a silent protagonist, but this game made it look easy. Initially, she goes to Planet Aether just to make contact with a group of Galactic Federation troopers after their emergency landing. But upon arrival, she comes to the horrifying truth that they were all massacred. Then, she does this. This gesture of respect and grief tells us that she's caring. So the mission's over, I guess. Time to go home? Not quite. Samus eventually meets Umos, one of the moth-like species, the Luminoth. Umos pleads her to save them from the malicious Ing, and she does so. She risks her life going through constant danger and fighting nightmarish demons, all because she has a good heart. Her ship has been auto-repairing itself after her crash landing. She can leave at any time, but she's dead set on helping the Luminoth. The ending feels so triumphant and satisfying as Samus takes her leave while the Luminoth thank her for her generosity. Samus is a true hero by all means. This is how you make someone a true hero, doing the right thing even though you won't be benefited for it just because you're a good person. A lot of modern heroes could use a true hero moment to give them a boost in character growth. That's not to say every protagonist should be a true hero. A Deadpool or a Donkey Kong every now and then is fine. But if you want the lead character to be loved and admired for their heroics, then give them the opportunity to show their true colors.